everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back. Happy Friday. <laughs> I'm all out of sorts because we have been on vacation. Will doesn't go back to school until Monday, but John did go back to work today for a little while, so I feel a little bit better. You know, just getting, Brooke just asked me something about Will going back to school. I said, I'll be, I, I love that I don't have to get up early and take him to school, but I'll be so glad to get back in my routine. And she said, that's such a Virgo thing to say. I have a lot of things here, but I think I'm gonna split it up a little bit because it's some things that I have kind of accumulated over the last couple of weeks. So, I had a few things I wanted to show you from Amazon, and I've got a few things that I want to tell you that how much I like that I have gotten from Amazon. Some I've shown you, maybe a few I haven't. So, I think I'm going to do a whole Amazon favorites video. So, that will be out maybe this weekend, next week. I want to do that soon because I have a few things that I ordered sitting here. And then, Brooke and I went to Sephora this past week. I don't know what day it was. I think it was um, actually New Year's Day we went out there. And she showed me, um, I think she saw it on Instagram, that Fenty Beauty had come out with some new eye palettes. And we picked out four of them. They're called snap shadows because they snap together so that you have them all together and it's if you bought two i think it was two for 45 dollars. so we picked out four that we wanted and we chose number seven cadet uh, number two cool neutrals six smoky and one true neutrals but what i'm going to do is a separate video with this so that i can swatch each palette and Maybe I'll do a, an eye tutorial or something like that. I'll do some type of video because I really want to, so I want to take more time with things like this and not just show them to you and throw them in my drawer and you never see them again or you know you see them sporadically. I'd like to give more attention to them. And the colors are just gorgeous. So it's killing me not to show you, but I will do this real soon. Now two palettes that I have bought and I know I've used them both and I know you will like them and they are very inexpensive. One I have on my eyes today and there's a little funny story with this one. It's called Hanging in Hawaii and it's by BH Cosmetics and it looks like this. It's just got some, I would say that they are, you know, warm but not orangey warm kind of like the camel tones like if you like the natasha denona camel palette you will like this and i purchased this palette because i was looking for i can't remember who i was watching it was a long time ago but i was watching a girl and she th this was in her favorite she said that she loved this palette and this one is called love in london and it's by the same bh cosmetics and she was saying how good of a neutral taupey palette that this is and it is it is such a good palette if you love tones like this like mac wedge soft brown um soba texture any of those colors like that the tom ford coco mirage palette you will love this palette and see it has a little bit of a blue and a little bit of a purpley tone too so I got Hanging in Hawaii because Love in London wasn't available. And this is actually the palette I used in that video. I think it was my empties video that I did with my cell phone. And that day I did my eye makeup and I just didn't, for some reason I didn't like it. I didn't think it looked that good. And there was just a little bit of fallout with this. Not a lot. Not as much even as like the Lorac palettes, not as much as the Anastasia palettes, but just a little bit of like dust up. And I did, wasn't crazy about it, so I returned it because I felt like I had just purchased it because I was waiting for that one. And it was so funny. When I was returning it, the girl at the Ulta counter said, I love your eye makeup. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, should I have kept it? Then I posted that video and so many of you wanted a tutorial for that look. And I was like, oh my gosh, okay, well maybe it looked better than I thought I, you know, thought it did. And maybe it was just a little something different. So I went back to buy it again and they were out of it. So I just got it and I used it today and I tried to do just about the same look that I did last time. I'm not quite sure if it's the same, so you have to let me know. And um, so if you still want a tutorial with this palette, I'll be happy to. And I think it would be a really good palette for any of you 
it's just really pretty. I love that it has the pinks in there. It's just very, very pigmented. Okay, and then another thing that I purchased this week, I've been waiting for this to come back in stock, and it is this Melted Matte Too Faced Lipstick in the color, I think it's Sellout is the color, yes. And this is what I have on today. And I actually have on, you know, I have on a cocktail. And I, I've been doing my lip combos kind of like I did in that video that I showed you, I think last weekend, I think I posted it last Sunday. And several of you have told me some of your favorite matte lips to try. One of you told me about these. It's the Infallible L'Oreal, and it's Milk and Cookies and Angora. And I do like these, but I will say, I tried to use this this morning as a liner, and it's not as intense as the Kylie or as the other one that I'm getting ready to show you, but I do like these. These would be good if you, sorry, I've got a piece of hair that is like right there in my mouth, okay. These are good if you want some that aren't quite as intense, you know what I mean? That are a little bit, I hate to say watery, but they're just not as bold. So this might be a good one to start off with, or if you don't like as much of a lip line as I do, these may be good ones to start off with. So I don't regret getting these, I'm gonna keep them because I might use those over other things, you know, to kind of mix in. So I've got this on, and what I used for a liner is, the day that Brooke and I were at Sephora, I was looking at the Huda Beauty, and I really wanted this lip liner. And then I tried to get the set. They were out of the lip liner, out of the set, but she did find the liquid lip, and it's called Flirt. And it's this brown color. And her marketing is right up there with, like, Charlotte Tilbury, you know? Just really my kind of marketing, my kind of packaging. So this is what I use today, and it is a very, I'll just watch it for you. It's pretty intense as far as being like a brown color but it just makes the best lip liner. I used it yesterday. So what you do is you line your lips, let it dry for just like 20 seconds and then blot it down and then start doing your layering over. So today I put on this and then I had used a little bit of one of those, I think the Angora, and then I went in with this. And so that is how I got this lip look. And so I wanted to show it to you without any gloss first. And now I'm going to do what I usually do and take my tiramisu and put it over. And you'll see how pretty this makes it look. There you go. See, it takes it from that kind of matte look to just a little bit glossy, but not crazy glossy. Now I'm gonna tell you about a few things that I've gotten in the past weeks that I've already tried and I love. One of them, this is something that Brooke actually picked out and both of us have been using it and we love it. It's the Pharmacy Green Clean. This is actually the only thing that she picked out that day we went to Sephora. It's the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. Uh, it looks like it won an award, in, uh, Allure Award in 2017. And it's a, just your typical cleansing balm, but it, it's not oily. You know how I love the Colleen Rothschild, but you know how Colleen's has like more of that oily base? This is more like the Good Molecules one I tried a long time ago. It's kind of, um, I don't know, I hate to say waxy, but it has just like a different light consistency that is not oily, and it does that thing that I think is so neat where you, I like I put a little bit, I use a little scooper, put a little bit in my hand, and just go right on your makeup without taking any of it off. And I've been rubbing it on my eyes and it's so amazing how it makes the eye makeup like disintegrate, like even the color. You know, it's not like you end up with big black circles. I mean, it's still gray or whatever, but it's just amazing to me how it just disintegrates the makeup. Then I, like last night, I did that. Then I went in with one of my um, Costco wipes and then I just took a hot washcloth and kind of just really washed my, you know, just scrubbed my face a little bit, no extra soap or anything. And then I took one of my gauze pads with the Paula's Choice Toner, the BHA one, and I expected to get so much residue, you know, off of my skin and there was hardly anything, even though I didn't even use a true cleanser. 
not saying that you shouldn't, but I'm just saying last night that's what happened. And um, so this is really good. If you're in the market to try one of these, I think you would like that. And it doesn't take that much to really just disintegrate your makeup. Another thing that I purchased when we were in, where's the box? Here it is. When we were in Sephora, they had just gotten these in and it is the Urban Decay Stay Naked The Fix. It's their um, foundation powder, long wear vegan formula, real skin matte finish. And the color I got is 60 NN, which is medium dark, neutral, neutral. And I used it today, and I used it actually, I think yesterday too, and it is very, very pretty. It is not, I don't think I like it as much as my YSL, definitely not as much as my Laura Mercier, which you can't buy anymore. And I would put it right there with like, if you like the Maybelline Fit Me or Benefit, Hello Flawless or some of those, that's what it reminds me of, even the tone. Even though this is a neutral, see how it's still got that yellowy tone? I think when I, what I want is more of a neutral tone. And so a lot of times it's not the formula as much as it is the color with me, but I do like this and I do, I want to try it with more foundations. So if you're interested in trying it, I do think it's worth a try. And you know, Ulta and Sephora are pretty good at returns. Another powder that I bought, and this is actually the second time I have purchased this. I remember the first time I purchased it, I wasn't impressed and I didn't really, have a purpose when I bought it. So, you know, I tried it and I didn't think it was that great. So I returned it because the name of it, I think I've already thrown away my box. Nope, here it is. The name of it is the Translucent Crystal by NARS and it is the Reflecting Setting Powder. So I don't know if I was like really expecting, you know, a lot of glow or anything but i was watching samantha sherman and she really likes this and she was using it to like set up under her eyes and so i just something made me just give it a shot and i have loved it it is great for like pores on the side of your nose um setting just make sure you don't have any creases and you can even just you can take a brush or you can even take your finger it's one of those powders that is almost kind of like the Makeup Forever powder. It's like, I guess a, like a silica based or something. See how it just, it almost just goes into nothing. It is so, so finely milled. It's not one that you're gonna use like with a wet beauty blender for, you know, chiseling out contour or anything like that, but it's really good for just really setting your makeup. So like today I used something new that I'm going to show you and I really, it was kind of almost tacky feeling and looking. So I really needed something to set my makeup before I went in with powder. And that was when this came in. So I really do like that. Let's see, let me go ahead and show you what I have on my face. I started out with this, which is the new All Nighter Face Primer, Long Wear Foundation Grip. Preps, smooths, and perfects. Love, love this. If you like, it's not as sticky feeling as the Milk or the Cover FX, but it still gives you, see it's white when it comes out. It still, let me see if I can describe it. It feels like it really is like filling in your pores and smoothing, and then it smooths out. It's more of the consistency of the Sicily. It really is. It's not as tacky, but then as it dries, it just kind of feels like it's tightening a little bit and firming and just leaves a little bit of a tackiness for your makeup just to really you know, attach onto, like I wouldn't, certainly wouldn't go in with a, you know, powder foundation or something with this, but with your other foundations, it's perfect. And Brooke has been using this. She loves it. I've been using it. I love it. So if you are into the gripping primers, you have to try this. I think it's just, I don't, I don't detect any smell. It's just really good. Another primer that I bought just yesterday, I was in, you know, I go in Ulta a lot because my daughter Brooke works there. They just had this come in and it is the 
Um, I keep forgetting. Okay, First Aid Beauty, Hello Fab, Pores Be Gone Matte Primer with Fig Extract. Now, I have not tried this because today I really wanted to use the gripping primer because I'm using something else I'm going to show you in a minute, but I will try this and let you know how it goes. I like everything from this brand. If you just want to have the most good, basic, good skincare, you know, I think this First Aid Beauty is just so good. The um, cleansing pads, I've used them on Will. I mean, it's just good, strong, but no fluff, you know, skincare. And I just have loved, I, I can't think of anything in this brand that I have not loved. So I'm feeling like I'm gonna like this. So anyway, we'll let you know about that. And now what I'm wearing today is inspired by my friend Susan on Instagram. She posted some New Year's Eve pictures of her and her boyfriend and her face just looked so yummy and good. So I immediately texted her and wanted to know what she was wearing. And it just kills me all the mountains of makeup I have, which that reminds me, I'm gonna do a video on my New Year's goals, not a resolution, but just goals. And it doesn't, I'm, it's not gonna be not buying makeup or anything like that, but I do have some goals in mind. So I'm gonna do a video on that soon too. I never run out of video ideas. I could just go on and on. But anyway, she was wearing a combination of this. And of course I had the matte and then I had the regular version and she was wearing the illumination version, version and it is the IT CC Illumination in Medium. So that is what I'm wearing today. But she had it mixed with something that I've had in the past and I think I gave it to my mom because I am not crazy about like serum foundations, but it's the Giorgio Armani. I'll put, I'll link it down below with this and so I think I'm gonna have to order that because she swears by it and everything she tells me about, matter of fact, this is something that she told me about. It is the Master Conceal Concealer. That's what I have on today too. And she told me to get number 30, light medium, and I do love that, but I went ahead and bought the light because sometimes I want underneath my eyes highlighted a little bit more and because Further into the winter, I get the paler and paler I get. So I bought this and this is what I used today with this. And then I used the, <clears throat> I went over first with the NARS powder and then I went over it with the Urban Decay powder. So many things, so many new products. I have to get them straight in my head. So thank you, Susan, for this tip. And then she told me a Chanel blush that I didn't have out of all the Chanel blushes I have and then a few more things so I'm gonna wait until I get to the other things and maybe I'll do a Susan tutorial and show you all of her favorites because she is gorgeous even though I think it's gonna be a little too illuminating I think it's perfect to mix in with like the Charlotte Tilbury flawless finish foundation some of those that are just very not so much matte but they're just so intense and the coverage is so intense and you know this might just break it up a little bit and add a little bit of that yumminess or anything that's too matte i think that these are just good to have okay so just three more little things and i'll let you go i picked up these when i was in ulta one day they had just come out they had gotten so sold out i mean they were out of everything and then they just started in the last couple of days you know restocking and these are new and they're the nyx dazed and diffused blurring lipstick and so it comes with let's see what it is i haven't even opened these girls trip is one that i got and then the other one i got is killing it i think killing it's probably more of a color that everyone would like so let's try this one. Oh goodness it's taped shut, which I don't blame them. I was telling Brooke, I can't believe when I'm walking around Ulta sometimes, I can't believe the people I see trying everything. Like even if it's not a tester, I saw two girls in there last week rubbing self tanner on their legs. And I, I, I don't know if that was like a tester or what, but anyway, so I don't blame people for wanting to glue their packaging shut. Okay. Okay. So it's, I see, it's got a, oh wow, it's got a really nice brush on the end of it. And then it's, oh, I love these. You know what this reminds me of? Did you guys, oh, and I'm gonna get in trouble. I'm gonna say it like I normally say it and then I'll say it the way I'm supposed to. 
Meryl Norman. I used to love those pencils, the double-ended pencils. I remember Wildberry was my, fa my favorite ones, but I know I'm supposed to say Merle Norman. But um, I used to love that pencil. Wow, that is really pretty. That's okay. It's, they're going to be darker than the lid, if that tells you anything. And then, wow, this is a really neat product. Look at that. Look at how easy it blended out. So that is going to give you such a pretty color. Wow. Okay, love these love these so go there was probably like 10 colors so go see at ulta or i will list them down below and um you know a lot of times nyx is on sale wow look at how pretty that is they really did good and my brush isn't even like all gooped up that is really neat that's impressive and then the very last thing that I'm gonna show you before I do my outfit of the day is a new fragrance. And of course, everything I get has a story, but this is the Philosophy Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. And I was watching Hilarious HRH Collection yesterday, her video, it just cracks me up. I love, I love interesting people, and to me, she is interesting. And she was talking about this fragrance and how much she loved it, and she actually compared it to this, which is the Mason um, Baccarat Rouge 540. And so I went in Ulta, and Brooke was working. She was actually just getting off, and I was looking at this, and she said, yes, the Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere, that's the one I like. That's the one I wanted you to get. So I went ahead and got it, because I figured if both of them liked it, I would go ahead and get it. And I've actually put some on today. It is very, what am I? Oh, it smells good. It's very sexy creamy, is what I would say. Like it has that gourmand scent, but it still has enough, I guess because of the cashmere, which is probably some type of amber or sandalwood if I had to guess, it still has a really pretty smell. To me, this is a little bit creamier and prettier than the Ariana Grande Cloud, and it's just not as intense as this. So I really think this would be a good thing for you to try. They also have it in, you know how Philosophy does, they have it in body cream, you know, all kinds of stuff. So, but we got the fragrance and I'm glad I did. I put it on today when I was starting to get ready and it gave me that, you know, feeling of wanting to get dressed up and get pretty. So that is all I'm going to show you today. I have a few more things that I'm saving for other videos and I have something big and special to tell you about that I got this week. Let's see, how long have I have been? I've been filming a long time, so I hope I can cut some of this out, but I got a new car and I got it, let's see, I think the day after Christmas is when I started. I had been thinking about it and thinking about what I wanted to get. And if you don't know, my last car was a BMW 440i two door. And it was kind of like a sports car. It reminded me a lot of like when I met John, I had a Corvette and it reminded me, it gave me that feeling of being down low and kind of sitting back like that. And you know, just the big doors and everything. And so I loved it. I loved it. And just in the past, I would say probably four or five months, it just got to be where I was just tired of that great big door because it's hard to park unless, like if you park beside someone, you can't open your door all the way and then it's hard to get in and out. And the last couple of seasons, like if I've wanted to get flowers for my front porch or if I wanted to pick up something at Home Goods, like a rug or a little chair or something like that or just anything, like a lamp, it didn't have a lot of space. And it had also gotten to the point where when Will got in the car, when I picked him up, his head almost touched the top. So with all of this, I was thinking of what car do I want next? And I was thinking of just all kinds of different things. And if you don't know, if you're new to my channel, I am a car person. I have always loved, my whole family is kind of into cars. And I just really, like John, he could care less. And he hasn't even driven my new car, if that tells you anything. He just doesn't really care. He's happy with his truck. 
and you know he but he appreciates the fact that I like them and so anyway I'm really into cars and so I was thinking of like the Porsche okay let me back up I was thinking of an SUV but I didn't want like a big SUV like I used to have I used to have I had two I had a black one and a white one I had the Buick Enclave and they are such nice cars I mean just beautiful and I've had a Yukon I've had two Yukons I didn't want anything quite that big but I didn't want like though I didn't want anything that looked like a SUV but still drove and was kind of like a car inside so bottom line I ended up choosing the BMW X5 but because I'm a hot rod and I didn't want to lose my sporty feeling I got the M50i so if you're familiar with like the Mercedes has like the AMG which is the like hot rod version the BMW the M series is what this is now my last car had like the M sport package where it had some M type sporty designs but this has the like twin turbo V8 motor and all that kind of stuff so I love it it is just unbelievable unbelievable and I don't know how to do anything on it I'm still learning I need to meet with like their they call it a BMW guru I think not I'm not a guru genius I need to meet with them I just got it last weekend so I'm hoping I haven't got any good pictures of it I'm hoping it's a little bit sunny today it's been raining a lot I'm hoping I can take some pictures and put it at the end of this video but that has been my big thrill I just love it and um, so I think I'm actually going to do, I watched Lydia Elise Millen did two videos on her cars and then I saw Shay Whitney had gotten the BMW X7. I don't know if I said G or X. I hope I said X. Mine's the X5. Hers is the X7. I didn't need anything that big because my kids are getting older. Very rarely are all four of us in the car. And then John has a big truck that is like four door. So anyway, loving it. And um, so that's kind of like been my big thing. So got that out of the way. I'm going to do a video on that one day because I want, when I was looking at cars, I would have appreciated a girl's version of that car. And I liked watching their videos. So I'm going to do that in the next month or so. So um, accessories I have on the rings that my parents gave me. I have on bubble bath nail polish, which I love. It's just the best nothing polish i love it just makes your fingers look longer you know and then the hoops i have on are some of my favorites they are the sheila fajol i think they're called frederick hoops and my fragrance is the philosophy and that is it so look for me back here this weekend with those videos and thank you guys so much for being here i'm looking forward to 2020 with you and um, i will see you real soon Bye bye